Alright, that probably is. It's cool as I thought it was, but, but yes, we are going to unbox every single DV slash DV bag. So let's get right into it. Quick, quick disclaimer. Um, I'm going to be filming different parts of this video because I don't actually have them at the same time. I'm going to be getting Cyclone and Warbomb. Uh, I'm actually getting Zest Achilles later this morning. And then I'm going to be getting Warbomb uh, and Cyclone Ragnarok uh, later next week. So. Dynamite Belly Out, owned by Bell Dizora. Um, yeah, uh, pretty standard. I mean, lightweight. Dynamite and uh, two, and then we have Nexus and Venture. And I know I got first Uranus in the last video, but I am not spending like 40 bucks on a Devil Blade just for the blade. So um, yeah, I'm not gonna do that. So let's get this open. And I'm actually keeping the boxes this time because last time I didn't keep the sparking boxes, but I'm going to be keeping the boxes. So um, yeah, let's just get right into it. belly out and I'm going to be comparing this to the Hasbro version so um, yeah one second so I'm going to be putting on the stickers after this so yeah um just like last time with the spark um, but yeah here is our dynamite core or DB core so uh, belly out one comparing to Hasbro uh, yeah they cut holes in it they didn't really other than that but yeah it's pretty much Hasbro without the red parts I mean Hasbro looks worse obviously but uh, yeah strong clicks I guess uh, it's just Fafnir right right Fafnir Anchor, but way better than Anchor because the rubber is not jagged. 
over the tip, making it blue stand up all the time. So when you assemble it, you can either assemble it in uh, low mode by putting the armor on the bottom and the chip on the top, like so. Click it in, and I put it up right down. That's just great. And then for high mode, you put the armor on top where the chip was. Yeah, um, that's pretty good. I think that's a pretty good explanation. You know, went up for the basics. Now let's feel how this thing clicks in. So, yeah, Adventure's got actually a pretty nice spring. So, just off the bat. Oh, yeah. I can see why this thing did it first. That much. It feels like it has a dash driver. yet anyway because you know I'm saving stickers to show off for last but yeah this is our second to last bay that we need Two. 
No, I only got a one star. Damn. And finally, never. Uh, apparently, it only free spins at the center. Uh, the center tip right here. This ball, if you try to move it individually, it does not move. And yeah, never is pretty short, actually. But I want to see which really good like it's actually super super good so finally a Ragnarok that's good uh, we got Rising Ragnarok uh, Berserk Rock Devore but it's technically Ragnarok um, Crash Ragnarok and finally Glide Ragnarok side by side Chip, Vanish, three, your first three armor. I mean, it's pretty good for three bladed stuff. Ultimate, Dynamite, Devil, Dangerous, Divide. Fafnir chip out there. Like, this, trash. This, better. Grabbing the warp in the center, just like guys. This, amazing. Dragon flying in, flames. It would look better with stickers on it, but uh, sticker was stickerless. Um, vanish. like that it's more stamina oriented more balanced tapered uh has so tapered is vertical vertical and anything like that and it's pointed more down so it can scrape but it's also like a good MIT so put it on some like bearing
Rose Mirage Factory, looking pretty good since the last time we saw it. the 10 armor you have four little heads right here and yeah i love this armor this armor absolutely is my favorite armor although it's kind of the weaker kind of one of the weaker ones Thank you. 
um, to unboxing. I think next is Savior Valkyrie. So yeah, I just unboxed Savior Valkyrie, or I mean, uh, Savior Lord Muhammad. But this is obviously the Lord one.
like.
about Long Nest of the Metal Dragons. It's just like El Drago. Final gear that we need. Um, cool karma that I'm going to replace immediately because I got that key. two sets and then I bought another one separate and then one broke so I have that and then I have those two
then you have Bearing Dash, which is not a dash driver technically, it is just a regular spring, but since the original bearing had such a weak spring, they just decided to change it to a regular spring. But I don't use the thing, thing for the track. I like to use extreme metal on the nice and precious notes of my
and I just called it its Hasbro name. That's freaking great. Anyway, there's Greatest Raphael. On to my second favorite Valkyrie.
but who cares? When you are color comboed. That looks amazing. And I love that a lot. Anyway, let's just put this together quick. So here you go. distribution and yard dash oh my god those are tight slopes um yard dash makes it scrape a lot so yeah um pretty compact bay uh i like kerbius a lot i have all the kerbius evolutions i'm just not going to show them because that takes time and my phone's about to die so i gotta get through these fast next up gatling dragon and i'm changing charge metal dash to 
char high charge dash. So that's the other reason I got the Helios. So let's get into it. Just to show it off, charge metal dash, but who cares? Anyway, Gatling Dragon has the ability from Tempest, but I guess, um, yeah, I think this is like eternal slash mode for, um, so if this head is down, this can't move, but if this is up, this can't move. So, yeah, that's his ability. We've got the pen. Karma, we've already seen this on long list before. It's kind of fitting that the dragon has a long list. Thank you. 
which I unboxed just a while ago. So, you know, we still got the shining luster, and I gave it the charge. I'm, I think it needed to be thin, kind of like, uh, like World Spriggan needed to be thin, like so. attachment so attack mode like so if you put it on the underside like so it'll be in defense mode for left but no defense mode for right attack mode for left. as you can see pretty good anyway chain phoenix i do not care Silver version, uh, Phoenix 
an extra prominent stock, but I'm not gonna use a uh, universe metal because I don't need to use it. So, boom, there is our dead phoenix version. I did see Zanky's 
that gap though. I mean, we got the border so far, and I love the compact style. Just glad LD are still on this. But it is still pretty thin. This thing. It makes the thinnest part a little bit thicker. So yeah. Anyway, so that was this part of the unboxing. Achilles dropped, so I knew I had to get Achilles because Achilles is Achilles. So, you know. But then I just like, you know, stopped after that, and that was pretty weird. So, yeah, I just went ahead and got the 202, which is uh, a night. I didn't want to get the uh, demon version of Excalibur. I know it looks like Prime Clock. And then I pre-ordered But, um, yeah, uh, it was a pretty decent stamina type, all right, um, but nothing too special to write home about, but it's predecessor to Ruda, which basically was an evolution of the Ruda here, uh, was absolutely busted, absolutely
either the red or the teal is out. And I think uh, red means it's going upward and teal means it's going downward. So yeah, that's cool. Also, there is no gap like the original Air Knight, which was in upper, which is great. So yeah, that's enough about the layer. Uh, I think I'll just keep it in the red mode because I like to see that. So yeah, let's just put this back, this layer back together and get to the disc. Also, uh, I'm pretty sure this has some BU locks on it. Yeah. Obviously, supposed to represent this color. Uh, I'm pretty sure the original disc is not 11. I'm pretty sure it's 12. Even though 12 is too But anyway, yeah, the moon. Uh, nothing special about it. It's just got that, you know, downwards, uh, downwards slope position. You know, that all those discs like Taylor has down and vertical and all those discs.
Helios chip looks pretty, pretty cool, you know? It doesn't have the uh, metal on it like Helios Volcano did, but it just pretty much looks the same as uh, like King Helios did. Looks alright, you know? Giga, you know, pretty heavy disc, you know? as exceed and I think the zone has zone and zeal have the same base as each other as well. Yeah that's pretty cool to find out you know, how to put them together.
I have gotten them all stickered up finally, and they look absolutely insane. I love their designs, they look so cool. Especially Hyperion's, I love Hyperion's design. Spriggan and Valkyrie, great. I guess metal for Valkyrie and uh, free spin for Spriggan. So, yeah, that's cool. Um, this is like pretty big. Just like 
so this is right rotation mode, so it'll go like this. So it'll just uh, use its rubber contact points and absorb from left rotation opponents. But uh, since this is the same layer, uh, this just has metal and rubber, I guess. So they both technically have metal and rubber. It's just like this one has both contact points.
horizontally, so I don't know how that will affect it, but that would be pretty good. Also, uh, the Nike made a nice comparison to how it looks like Viper Hydrax. So, uh, the shape of the barricade, pretty much. That's pretty cool. As you can see on the sides here, it says thank you. So, thank you. Uh, which is a really nice send off to Big Labor since this is the last release. I 
Yeah, doesn't look how, uh, basically everything is untouched except for the metal. So, yeah, uh, that is Fafnir on to the next release. All right, this is like top tier best looking DB Bay. Roar Bahamut looks insane right now. I love the way it looks so much. Here, let me get it in its uh, circle mode. Yeah, this thing with the pink and the teal, just a dark blue crown in the center, that looks amazing. Sorry if I sound a little stuffy right now. I've come down with the cold in these November months. November month, so, you know, it kind of sucks. So, yeah. Next up, one of the worst Valkyries ever. As you can see, some of the stickers fell off. Um, and there were so many stickers on this guy. Like, damn. Also, this has started shifting, so this one, it's about to come off actually. So, but this one's still intact, so Savior has not awakened yet. Shot looks as the seven stickers yeah savior looks pretty cool got the vault cheek cheek mark looks amazing next one all right next up is right astral spriggan and basically all the stickers fell off for this except for three so that's how it's going for this yeah i don't like astral spriggan as much in right as i do left so let's just get in left right away All the metal oxidized, but you know, it's still got like basically all its stickers except for like a little bit ripped off here. So, yeah, Astral Spriggan looks insane. Just to get it quickly out of the way, this is a uh, cyclone and very out. Alright, next.
Next up is Dangerous Belly Owl, and this is one of the ones that I've used pretty heavily, but did not really take any damage whatsoever. It just really lost its shine.
turn because I gave uh, this good old friend looking pattern to Dragon. And then for Cycloid, I just did this. which is basically low left mode and low right mode. So this is low left mode in defense. So low left defense. And yeah, in the metal ball. Mode. And it looks great. You know, I love it. So on to its other spin direction. And now we have right Achilles. Hyperion MR, and yeah, I really like this more than Burn and more than Super, so yeah, this is a great release so far. And, uh, uh, Explosion's a fun driver. I replaced it with Giga because I think it's the same disc and also tapered sub. So much. I love the clear on it and the silver. So yeah, just. 
So yeah, but let's just get this thing in left mode. And here we are, the left rotation mode. I don't know if I like this yet. Uh, I, I really like the world, the left rotation mode. I basically want to do like a full season uh, video where I do a 